Oh, hang on, hang on. Hi everybody, Paz here. Welcome back. About a month ago, I had a few casts off one of my favourite rock walls. I was after squid, but conditions weren't ideal, so I switched to whiting instead. However, I never expected to reel in a King George this close to shore. It was my first KG in ages, and I left a happy man. However, I began to think. I know KG frequent the area, but I've only ever encountered them further out on the kayak. Was it a fluke, or were there more there? I think you all know where I'm going with this. With the kayak out of commission, it's the perfect time to find out. I'm heading back there with my mate Ben. We're going to wet a few lines and see if we can bring about the return of the king. Let's go. It was a cool, clean morning when we rocked up. Before we got down and dirty with the bait, Ben and I decided to try for a few squid. Couldn't hurt, and Ben doesn't get on the squid that often. However, it seemed the squid weren't going to be cooperative this morning. I'd given up when I looked down and saw this little f staring up at me. I dropped my jig within his line of sight, and that's all it took. I gave the squid to Ben. He'll be having calamari tonight. With the squid not firing, it was time for the main event. I switched to my 9 foot rod for extra casting distance. My rig was the standard 3 hook whiting setup with slightly bigger hooks than I usually run with. Bait was a mixture of squid and herring. Spying a weed bank about 50 metres out, I sent out my first cast right next to it and settled in for a long wait. My long wait lasted all of 10 seconds as my rod buckled. My heart leapt to my mouth as I recognised that familiar serpentine shape in the water. It's a KG! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! A KG with my first cast. <laughs> yes! I couldn't believe it. The fish came in at just over 30 centimetres. I wasted no time, dispatching it humanely and bleeding it straight away. I was over the moon. The last fish wasn't a fluke. I'd achieve my goal in one cast. I claim no knowledge of how or why, simply a case of being in the right place at the right time and having the fishing god smile upon you, well, for once. With my head buzzing, I resumed the session. After a while, my rod went off again, and this time I was brought back to earth with a thud as I reeled in the humble butterfish. Ben had the same, and after my second one in two casts, I decided to change my tactics. I sent my next cast out wide, towards a different weed bank closer to shore, and it paid off. A double KG hookup. I've never had that before. Unfortunately, one jumped the hook as I reeled him in, and the other almost went with his mate. This one was size two. Three caught, two kept, and one lucky bugger jumping off. On my next cast, I found the patch where they were hiding. This one was undersized, but all good. Didn't even care that a butterfish had come along for the ride. Yeah, everybody, back you go. About 10 minutes later, I hooked another one. Oh, that's a big one too. Big one. This one was the biggest of the day, 33 centimeters. I now had enough for a family feed. I promised Ben the next one. He'd been fanning his own casts in close, attempting to hook some gathering herring through the ever-present blowfish. He succeeded, 
reeling in a tar wine. He even served the fish up on a plate of salad. During all that commotion, my rod had gone off again. It was another double hookup. Although, let's be fair, butterfish really shouldn't count. What I took for an undersized kg turned out to be the chunkiest sand whiting I'd seen in a long time. It'd grow great with Ben's squid. And with that, the bite went quiet. It seemed there was nothing left in the area except blowies and butterfish. Still, we kept casting catching up and shooting the breeze. Ben even showed us the importance of running multi-hook rigs, both in and out of the water. It was time to head off. We gathered our gear and hopped off the rock wall, heading for the cars. Ben was already planning our next session. Seems he's been bitten by the squidding bug. As for me, I was walking on air. I'd set out to see if my last KG here was a fluke, and now I'm leaving with three. Couldn't be happier, and it's a welcome distraction for my wait for the kayak parts. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you're a fan of Perth and Fremantle fishing content. Or don't, either way, I'm still going fishing. As always, this video is dedicated to my two sons, who've just enjoyed some lovely KG fillets with their chips. This is Paz, wishing you fair winds and tight lines. Until next time.